Hi, I'm Angie and a couple of weeks ago I published a video about a malt filling for chocolate bonbons and I received this comment uh, from Christian. And so I thought, yeah, why not making a beer ganache? So that's what we're going to make today, a beer ganache for chocolate bonbons. And by the way, I think it would work really, really great on, on a cake or something. I've already tried out the recipe, so it's not my first time making it today. Um, and I really love it. So it is more on the bitter side because the beer itself is quite bitter. And then I'm also using dark chocolate, which is obviously more bitter. Um, so if you like it sweeter, just add a little bit more sugar or maybe even consider um, yeah, using milk chocolate for your cho chocolate shells or for the ganache. Um, yeah, that's just like your own preference here. Let's talk beer for a second. Um, yeah, I like beer that are let's say heavier, maltier, sweeter, like a stout, a porter, or a black ale. That's what I'm going to use today. Um, I'm pretty sure that you could also use an IPA. Um, you just have a different outcome. Then it's uh, just a little bit lighter maybe, fruitier, hoppier. Um, but yeah, I'm going for the black ale. But before we get started with our chocolate ganache with our recipe, I really quickly I want to walk you through um, how I painted my molds today. If you need more details, I have some uh, links in the description below with like a step-by-step -step, um, video and things like that. So check it out if you just need more details. And right after that, we're going into our chocolate ganache. Let's do it. Here's the mold we're going to use today. It's from Chocolate World and we're going to use a gold, a turquoise, an aqua blue from Chef Rubber and a white. Um, only the aqua blue is coming from Chef Rubber, the other colors I made from scratch. And because I don't want to make too many chocolate bonbons, because who's going to eat it, um, I tape my mold. Just with some tape and um, parchment paper and then we're going to use my um, airbrush with the gold. Just going right in there and after that I'm um, yeah, turning my mold and using uh, the darker blue. Then I'm going in with some white, only a couple of droplets and the blue. Now I'm using the air of my airbrush to swirl it around to give a really nice background pattern. And here we go, let it set. Then I've tempered my chocolate, pour it in and of course also release it again. Tap tap. Clean it off and let it set. Then I'm removing my parchment paper and here we go. Okay, here we go. Um, nothing fancy here. I have 5 gram uh, glucose. I have about 30 grams of sugar over here. Now I'm adding 100 milliliters of my cream, adding 30 milliliters of my beer. And now we're warming this up until it's boiling um, just a little bit and then we pour it over our chocolate. So while this is heating up, I'm preparing 200 grams of um, chopped chocolate. I'm using a dark chocolate and a tablespoon of butter. And you really wanna make sure that all of your sugar crystals have uh, dissolved. Well, as you can see, you can um, barely see anything because we're getting close to boiling. Um, yeah, the only thing I wanna mention here is um, that you don't wanna boil it for too long because you don't wanna lose your, your alcoholic flavor. Okay, here we go. So I add my cream beer mix in three steps. Okay, and you can't see anything, but well, I'll just stir it in. Fun times. Okay, let's clean this again. Here you go. Better than before. Yeah, and the butter is just melting. That's what you want. And it always looks like you have destroyed everything, but you just keep going. It will emulsify. Let's do this over here. And again, it looks broken, but keep going. And stir it in. But yeah, I have a whole ganache series, so if you want to learn more about ganache, how to fix it, troubleshoot, um, you can take a look there. Okay. This is looking pretty good, which means now I'm going in with my immersion blender just to make sure that we get everything really fine and smooth. Here we go, uh, let's pipe it in. Now tap a little bit to remove air bubbles. 
and as you can see it's still super liquidy so we need to let this set ideally overnight six to eight hours and here we go still looking cute I hope you enjoyed this ganache or this um, chocolate filling as much as I do. Um, yeah, and if you have questions, as always, leave them down below. Send me a DM on Instagram at chocolate spiel. Um, if you're looking for tools, I have some links below. And um, yeah, have a good one. Bye.